Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to add a transparent and non-transparent image to your object. So in this occasion I will use a t-shirt, and but you can use any object you want for this tutorial, it's up to you. So we will begin by adding a non-transparent image to your object. So <coughs> the first thing we need to do is to apply the co a color to our t-shirt. So we go to uh, first we, we you will be on viewport shading, but you need to go to this like rendered view. And here you can see the color. So you just click the T-shirt, and then you go to Material. You click on the plus button, and then you click New. Now you go here to the base color. Sorry, you click on the center, and then you can change the color of your shirt of your shirt. So I will choose like a white color for this. The next step you need to do is to apply the image to the object. So we click the object and then we go to edit mode and you know uh, you select you just have to select like the image or sorry the area that you want to cover so you uh, here in the edit mode on the uh, on the upper left side of the screen you go to face select and you just select the faces that you want and now I have my my area selected so I just need to apply the image so for that we go back to our materials and we go to the plus symbol new and assign and then we need to change to another layout which is called the shading the another workspace called shading and here we we will we'll apply our image so the image I chose for this is like a a hawk it's called logo gris I will add it like this and uh, I will go to my I am all, all in my render mode and I just will connect the color of this with the base color of the diffuser like you see and there it is my, my image but it is not on the position that I want it to be so I will go to unwrap so a uh, right click and then you go to UV unwrap faces and then go to unwrap then you just need to go to UV editing workspace and just zoom in and open the image that you are using in this case I, I am using this eagle this drawing of an eagle called logo gris and there it is but the problem is that the image sometimes can appear backwards if, now if, if you have this problem um, you see that the image is backwards if you have this problem just need to go to scale and by the way what I, why I, what I did there is just rotate it with the R key you go to a scale and then you like use this scale resize green line and you just uh, like create this mirror or reflection of the image and you have this right size and the right uh, appearance that you want to have now we have our image and that's how you add a, a non-transparent image to your object in Blender, on Blender. So now we will add a, a transparent image, of course. Um, for that, the process is similar. Um, we need to so we need to start again, uh, but it's the same process basically. So let me delete what I just did here. And you know it's the same process. You go to layout. And as you see I have my teacher with, with without any color. So what we do is go to material and create the, the the color. In this case you need to remember this color because it is important. Now you again you add a new material and you create new and then uh, I will just leave it to white because it's simpler 
but you have to remember like these numbers here because you will use them in the future now uh, what you need to do now is to go to your uh, edit mode I press tab there I don't know what this isn't working but uh, because it doesn't work on okay so I am on layout mode now it works um, you go to tab and then you click the space that you want to use you need to select it with the faces like I told you and that's it now you have your your space here your your area in which you will apply your image and you just go again plus symbol new and assign and you go then to your shading workspace and you win you need to add three things very important three things mix rgb and you need to add also the color ramp this will be the background of your image and you will also need the image of course that you can drag to blender um, in this case I made a mistake uh, this is we need to use a transparent image so here you go uh, now you connect it this way the mix goes into the diffuser base color the color ramp goes into the color number one the the image goes into color, color number two, and alpha goes into fac. Now it is, as you see, uh, displaying but not properly. So we just need to adjust it with a right click and UV wrap faces on wrap and go to our UV editing workspace. And we need to adjust this image, of course, it is not the image we want, remember we are using a transparent image so we need to select it from our downloads, it's called um, this one, I think it's the one I am using and you just uh, rotate it to your desired position it is backwards again so I will have to like flip it again like I told you and now it is on the position I want but as you see the background is still there it is not the same background as the image so in this kind of case uh, I think you need to guess the color that is behind you and we will do that in the shading mode here um, you will play with this color ramp so you can like disappear this uh, this uh, background as, as you can see the background uh, is not visible anymore and you can you have your white transparent image and I think that's it for this tutorial let's look at the camera to confirm that yes um, we can see our on the rendering mode our and our new t-shirt and if you have any questions any comments just of course leave it in the comments and I will try to answer it as uh, soon as I can